You've been from UCLA to the Pirates to the Astros to here. You've been around a lot of great, in keeping with the theme, a lot of great Latino players. What have you learned about the culture and which of the guys have you really developed a good relationship with that will last for years? Oh, well, I mean, I think my first introduction to the culture, specifically the Dominican culture, was um, in Pittsburgh. We, uh, a couple of us went down to the facility down there and spent seven to 10 days uh, toward Santo Domingo. Um, I got to see, you know, how things work, you know, and, and, and where the kids come from um, and had a, had a great time. Some guys gave me, uh, I believe it's called Picaduro. Picadura. Yeah, Picadura. Woo! Picadera. Wow, fuerte. Mucho fuerte, yeah, and it's hot already, so a lot of sweat. Um, but and then and then we were obviously educated quite a bit on Roberto Clemente, um, one of my good buddies, Neil Walker, his dad Tom, um, was really good friends with Roberto, uh, and obviously the legacy that he's left in the in the in the museum there, um, probably. Probably one one player who I'll remain friends with amongst many are a couple guys specifically from the Astros. Jose is, is amazing, and Martin Maldonado is amazing as well. Um, so those two guys come to mind first. Luis Hill refers to you as a mentor. Could you please share with us some of the experience with him and you know some tips you've given and watching him grow during the season, specifically after May? Um, some of that stuff is possible. Yeah. Um, well, known Luis for a couple of years. He obviously came up before he was injured and um, really sparkled. I think he had like a scoreless inning streak or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then in spring training this year, being cut early in camp and then having to come over and pitch uh, after I got hurt, um, everybody kind of started to take notice because he was in really good shape and in really good form uh, very early. Um, and then just, you know, as things go along, you know, you're as a teammate, you're just trying to get to know your teammates and make sure they feel comfortable, especially rookies coming into this environment. Um, not too comfortable, but comfortable enough. Okay. And um, I think I just see a lot of uh, a lot of the same characteristics in terms of the, you know, obviously big fastball, um, a little bit of inconsistencies in breaking balls and strike throwing, which is a lot of the same stuff that I went through um, when I was younger. And, you know, I can recall some things along the way that um, helped me that I had to learn either myself or was taught by another veteran. Uh, and, and, and it's all about winning here. So anything that we can do to help each other uh, perform better, um, whether it's it's in the moment in the, in the game or whether it's, you know, you know, bigger picture in terms of preparation, long-term, what's your routine? Um, you know, Luis is obviously super impactful for us and and, and can be uh, uh, really dynamic. So uh, really, I'm just rooting for him to be really good and, 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 and trying to help facilitate that along the way the best I can. You know, in your career, uh, which is the Latin hitter that most gave you or gives you trouble getting out? Rafael Devers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if if one is retired, which one? <laughs> Out of the ones that are uh, no longer playing. Aramis Ramirez. He's a good breaking ball hitter. A lot of RBIs. 